show your support, like, share and subscribe. Hello, I am That British Guy and welcome back to the channel. We're trying something a little bit different today. Um, I got this game, well I say game, found this on the PlayStation Store quite a while back but haven't actually uh, done anything with it yet. And I thought now was a good opportunity to have a look at it and sort of share with you what this is and what you can do. Um, this game is Anywhere VR and basically what I can see at the moment, um, I'm sure it's unfortunately not quite as good on the screen that you guys are watching on, but whenever I move my head around I'm kind of within this lovely beached area. Um, there are many many other locations but a lot of them um, seem to be locked behind paywalls so um, I'm kind of stuck with this and one other um, landscape which I will show you in a moment and um, there's a few kind of soundtracks as well the majority of which are also kind of uh, locked as I said um, behind a paywall but here we can just kind of see around complete 360 around this area and just kind of take in this nice beach land area um, which apparently is in Japan um, all the nice kind of coastal sea just moving in on me here um, just as we're kind of standing right at the edge of the beach and there are a couple of kind of little mini games that you can enjoy here just to while away a bit of time and it just seems to be some kind of nice relaxing area that you can kind of escape to and really immerse yourself in obviously because of the uh, the whole VR um, setting and the fact that once you sort of plug your headphones in as well you can very much kind of lose yourself in your environment uh, if we just move over to the other area, just kind of outside Mount Fuji here, um, it's very much the same sort of idea. Um, this lovely kind of endless landscape that we can see, um, obviously with Mount Fuji over there, and just kind of this, um, I'm guessing that's sort of a roadside there, um, just behind us. Um, and that appears to be kind of like a small little village there or the edge of a town and again this nice kind of movement of body of water from the lake um, just kind of lapping towards where you're standing um, certainly the area surrounding this isn't quite as picturesque as the beach area but it's still quite a nice uh, little getaway um, let's change the music while we're here just as we're in a different area and yes I'm sure you can hear the, the waves kind of gently lapping around us as well there is a little bit of movement on that horizon I can see whether that's sort of cars or something um, but unfortunately the way they've kind of um, pictured this there's not really any movement from the sky which is a bit of a shame considering that obviously they've put this much effort into the water that's around you and kind of when you do turn your back you can kind of feel that this is very much just uh, lots of images stitched together um, as opposed to kind of a movie um, but it's still very nice atmosphere to be in um, I just think if they'd have kind of done the same with the clouds as they've done with the water even if they're on kind of a large-ish loop um, I'm sure you wouldn't be able to kind of get to memorise um, that because I'm sure this water here is on a loop of, of maybe only a, a few seconds or minutes um, but it, it just adds to the, the realness of it um, obviously with the, the sound effects and the, uh, the, the kind of change of the shading there but uh, we'll pop back to the beach just because it's a nicer environment to be in um, again in Japan. The majority of the other landscapes are in Japan, there's a few in China as well um, but that is it at least for now. Um, whether this will open up over time I'm not sure, uh, would be quite nice. 
because they say anywhere um, and obviously that anywhere is anywhere as long as it's Japan or China um, as opposed to actually anywhere it's almost like the the Henry Ford you can have any uh, you can have a car in any color you like so long as it's black but uh, there we go if we just kind of look out to see we'll just have a quick go at some of the games in here um, and what's quite weird is you have to control this with the D-pad. Um, this game, basically, you have to get... Um, you can only kind of see within that cone, so all the, the barriers and everything around you, you can't really see. Um, but you can... Um, you, you've essentially got to kind of move your heart thing around to get to the goal here at the end and what this does then is it introduces these red tiles which are kind of death tiles effectively and you've just got to move yourself around uh, making sure to avoid those and they follow you around kind of moving one square closer to you as you move around now what you can see here is we've got very limited visibility but this will improve that so we can see where the red things are and we can also see where the barriers are as well and these first few levels are fairly simple just to get you used to some of the mechanics. Use panels and get to the goal, check the effects under the help, uh, I can't bother to do that. What we can do is choose that up panel. And see what it does. Place it there and move up to it. Oh, it kind of jumps us forward. So it jumps us forward without jumping the red squares. Um, and these ones are quite helpful, like jump up things, because obviously we can't move to the right because the red thing will get us, so we just jump over that and again. Anything. Pretty straightforward. No idea what that round thing does. I feel like I might need it though. Let's. Does that do anything? No. Never mind. Probably should have used something else there. So that's that game. Um, just to while away a little bit of time. Uh, what else have we got? Oh yeah, the Fisherman one. That's yeah. Good. Not overly keen on this one. It's a bit kind of random. Let's have another music change while we're here. Uh, is this ever gonna? Ah, oh, there we go. And the idea is to. Too bad. Ah. The idea of this one is to um, get one of the fish on the hook. You can move the hook around with the left analog stick, and then you have to press Great. the X button um, to catch them. Oh, lovely. Too bad. Ah, and you can see that kind of red circle gets smaller and smaller. Um, that's just your kind of timer, I guess. Good. Some are slower than others, so they're easier to catch, but they're kind of less of a less of a prize, if you like. Uh, we'll just try another couple more. Try and get that orange one. Good. Yeah. So yeah, that was worth four stars because it was moving quite speedily. And the blue ones seem to be the cheap ones, because they're quite slow. Great. Aha, two for one there. Nice. See? Blue one and a green one. And let's do one more. Good. Hey, blue. Okay, a bit seaweed. So that is the fishing game that you can enjoy. And even if you're kind of... It's weird. Even if you're looking over this way... Um, it doesn't uh, necessarily take into account the fact that you're uh, not looking at the uh, the water, if you like, but there we go. And the last game, start a new one of this.
this. Yes. You've effectively got to not hit the bees. Good yeah. luck. Using kind of logic as to. Um, as to where they are. So those ones indicate that the what there's one tile next to this one there is a B. So it could be here, but then that doesn't account for all these other tiles here. So logic would dictate that the B has to be here because it's touching all of these tiles here. So uh, this one is clear and the same on the other side that is clear. Again, here there must be a B here touching this one and this one, and there's also a B here because it's touching this one. And with this B, there's two Bs there to touch that, so that's clear, and that's clear on the other side as well. Uh, what else have we got? Right, there's one there and three, so there's probably one there, one there, one there, so that's going to be clear, and that's going to be clear. Same for these. Cool. What did we say yeah. I got to? Level 5. Right. So there's got to be one there and presumably there for that to be two. So if we go all the way out there. Here. So is this clear? And is this clear? Lovely. And the same for the other side. Nice. So this is where we got to last time. Right. Make this the last stage anyway, see if I can beat my previous score. So it's two. So presumably one there and one there. which would dictate that there's probably one there as well for that, so that's got to be clear. Which means that's that one. So this is clear? Ah! Damn it. Ah! So if it's there, that might mean that this one's clear then. Let's assume that this one's clear. If there's two, one of them's probably not that one, is it? If there's two, that one and that one, so that's going to be clear. And that's going to have a B, because it's touching that one. There's two there. One's clear. Oh, come on, really? Ah. Ah. It wouldn't let me progress. You want to try again? In that there. A few other bits and pieces, features, you can cast this. Um, and kind of integrate it with your phone. Um, I think it's only with Android phones. I can't do that anyway. Um, these are the different soundtracks and visual bits and pieces. If I just show you, this is kind of a list of all the things that you need to buy. And the same for the songs. All the songs that you can buy. Granted, there's a lot less. In fact, let's change the tune again. Uh, basic options for sound. Ah, effect. This is quite a nice take. Uh, this kind of looks better on the beach. So let's go there and we can make it a much brighter day and kind of do night filters as well just to give us a, 
better effect. And then there's some weird effects as well, like this kind of really midnighty kind of look, um, and this kind of burnt red sun look. And well, that's just blinding. <laughs> And then, yeah, this kind of weird, almost looks like you've been, uh, there's been a nuclear bomb or something, um, like it's Fallout, or then black and white, which is obviously very, uh, unrealistic, and then kind of back to the beginning, um, just to change the mood set, really. And lastly, I believe, yeah, you can link this up with Twitter, um, and you can just have a nice little clock. Uh, which kind of pops down in the corner, down there, just to give you an idea um, of where and when you are, just in case you kind of lose yourself a bit. So yes, this is uh, Anywhere VR. It's kind of a very different experience from um, certainly what I'm used to, probably what most gamers are used to. It's just a nice kind of little getaway thing and a nice little uh, kind of tester for the VR just to show you what the capabilities are. Um, but yes, I might purchase a couple more of those uh, environments just to kind of give myself a few other escapes in the future. But for now, I've been that British guy and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.